Hello friends, welcome to this week's landscape photography vlog all the way from Utah. In this episode I use my telephoto lens to capture some intimate desert details, and I also fly my drone high above the badlands to showcase the colors, shapes, and textures of the desert. I really hope you enjoy the episode. Well that was pretty spectacular. Um, I flew the drone around and, and got some pretty cool perspectives of the butte and to be honest with you when I'm back in San Francisco I've thought about selling the drone just because there's not a lot of places to fly safely and legally so I rarely end up pulling out my drone I mean it pretty much sits in my room until I go on a trip like this but when you can find a place where it's legal to fly safe to fly there's no one around you can get some wild perspectives of different landscapes I'm really excited about the way these images came out. Sunrise was way better than expected. I mean, the clouds started catching this nice glow. The peaks started lighting up with warm pink colors. And all these little desert ridges in here were catching all of the bits of color and creating these awesome lead-ins into the butte. So here's a wide angle perspective taken with the drone at sunrise and wow, I mean, <laughs> I really lucked out with the conditions here. The light on the butte was just incredible, matched with those really warm clouds that just kind of radiated from the center of the butte. Now actually this is a vertical panorama taken with the drone, so I'm actually doing three horizontal shots, one a little bit higher and then moving the gimbal down a little bit to capture another image, and then moving it down even further to see more of the foreground. And then I stitched all three of the images using Photoshop. And it gives me this really nice wide angle perspective to work with, almost like a 14 millimeter lens, but taken from the drone. I really loved how that light was just kissing the tops of the ridges of this badland, and they really just pull you and draw you into the butte, matched with the sky that's also kind of pulling you into that butte. After the sun came out a little bit more, I decided to tilt the gimbal all the way down to get a top-down perspective. Here's what I shot. I had a lot of fun flying the drone in different positions, trying to find the right perspective on these kind of jigsaw looking patterns of the badlands and uh, you know when the light comes out at sunrise it can create some really beautiful contrast between the shadows and the highlights but also it does complicate the landscape quite a bit so searching for an interesting simplified abstract shot while the light is hitting the subject is much harder i've found if this is all diffused and I was just working with reflected light, it would have been a little bit easier, but um, it took quite a bit of searching before I found this exact perspective to showcase. Lighting is perfect. It's kind of soft. I love how scenes that seem so 
in a sense, ordinary, can be so beautiful and so spectacular when framed the right way. And that was really the case with this rock wall. I found these little triangle patterns to focus on and this little boulder that almost looks like some sort of gemstone. I had a lot of fun playing with this composition and I actually really liked the lighting here. This was right before the light got too harsh. So this was in between the transition from some clouds diffusing the sun into sunlight so it was kind of an in-between where the lighting still looks quite soft but you still do see some pretty stark shadows across the landscape. I popped around shooting some different compositions of this wall for a bit with the 100 to 400 lens and I think this ended up being one of my favorite shots. So it's after sunrise and kind of working on an abstract composition. This is one that I tried in 2018 of this butte, but um, this time I have some little visitors. <laughs> There's a group of, I think they're deer, and I'm trying to see if I can compose them in the frame. It's tough because they keep moving and this the compositions of the the butte that I want are very specific, so I'm kind of just playing the waiting game here So here's the final image of the scene that I was playing around with. I found out uh, that these are pronghorn antelope. I had no idea I was going to encounter this scene while I was uh, heading to this spot. I really wanted to focus on those desert patterns on the wall in the background, but uh, this was a nice surprise uh, to make the morning a little bit more fun. It was definitely a challenge because they just kept moving all around in different positions and then once they would move I would move and then I'd realize the wall in the background just wasn't as interesting so it was definitely a back and forth game trying to move shoot move shoot trying to find the right positions this ended up being my favorite because I did like that nice triangle shape in the background and some of the lighting here I felt like some of those cooler tones in the background definitely helped complement the warmer tones in the foreground just beautiful beautiful patterns going down this wall that all lead towards the center um, and I've been trying it under different lighting conditions because the sunlight has been changing quite a bit there's a few clouds over the sun like right now the butte is mostly in shadow but then the light will come out and kind of bask these ridges and then it'll hide behind the sun again so I'm trying some different lighting yeah, it's definitely an interesting morning This is a fun image to shoot. It kind of reminded me of something out of almost like a science fiction movie or, or novel. These three cliff faces on the ridges kind of remind me of almost like robotic faces. When I picture this image, I almost saw like some sort of robot wasteland. It's pretty amazing how many of these different butte walls have just beautiful and very unique patterns to them. I mean, each wall is completely different and offers a different composition. So I spent quite a bit of time just kind of driving around to different buttes and looking at the walls and seeing what they had to offer. And this one was definitely one of my favorites. Here's another image, perhaps even stranger than the last one. I really like this one. I like those little streaming patterns that are coming down from the top of the image. And the top of this image, all of these kind of nubs on the top remind me of strange faces. I see a lot of faces in this image, especially this face looking like almost like a stone soldier. After hunting around all day for interesting rock walls, I decided to pop the drone up one more time to shoot more desert abstracts during the afternoon and at sunset. Here's what I shot. I 
been having a blast capturing the Utah deserts. It truly is just a wonderland of compositions and really allows you to fully express your creativity. Here's another image. I had a lot of fun shooting right before sunset. Once the light came back out from diffusion, I again found it a little bit trickier to find the right composition while the light was hitting these ridges. It just felt so messy to me. So it took me a while before I found this composition that I really liked. Here's another vertical panorama taken similar to the first image, but this time at sunset. So completely different lighting and having the butte backlit was definitely interesting to work with. Made it a little tough to process though. It took me a while to figure out what type of processing I wanted to do to this image, but I ended up going with a really dark look to this image, just focusing on the highlights in the clouds, some of the highlights on the ridges, but then leaving everything else pretty much in shadow. Certainly interesting lighting to work with. I would love to know which one of these images is your favorite from the video. Do you like the drone shots from above, or do you like those telephoto shots on the ridges, or maybe some of these panoramas? As always, I really appreciate you watching the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for more from Utah and of course from other places as well. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.